exactly. I don't know why everybody thinks that these criminals, these seasoned criminals, all need to be polished geniuses. Like, they just need to be good at doing crime. Like, that's how Trump is. He doesn't have geopolitical acumen. He is good at spin, and he's good at crime, because he's been doing both of those things for, like, 40 years. You know, same with Manafort. Great at crime. Crime machine. Stays long streak. Didn't get caught. Or if you got caught, you didn't get punished. Like, this is what... They do. And some of them are going to be, you know, drunk and incapacitated. And some of them are going to be slick and quiet. And some of them are going to, you know, maybe try for, you know, an honest sort of shot at redemption, which I guess the closest to that is Michael Cohen. But that's what the situation reminds me of. It's like people seem to forget that nearly a year ago, Michael Cohen stood under oath to Congress and talked about how Trump was basically running a mafia operation out of the White House. He talked about how Trump had instructed him, Michael Cohen, to threaten over 500 people. And he talked about how Trump wasn't going to leave in 2020, even if he lost the election. Like, that was all said to Congress. And the immediate, the immediate after effect of that was basically nothing. 